This is my Bikey RX. It's a compact long wheelbase recumbent, um, which I bought from Bike Fix in London. It's about seven years ago, six and a half, seven years ago. It's a great fun bicycle. Um, and uh, I've put in quite a few miles over the years. One of the very nice things that Stuart Dennison at Bike Fix built into this bicycle, as well as uh, adding disc brakes, uh, which I hope, uh, which really work tremendously well on a on a bike like this, that can really use it. Um, he also built in a Zon Narben Dynamo. Ah, sorry for my pronunciation, but uh, it's, I think, if not the world's best, I think certainly one of the world's best uh, electricity generating hubs for bicycles. And that's that's the big thing in the middle of the wheel there. It. As far as I know, it um, creates 6 volts, if you're lucky, if you're going at a reasonable speed and so on. And uh, that I use generally, well, exclusively so far, to light just one front light. Uh, but it uh, seemed to me it would be a good idea to use that charge during the day, during the daylight hours, to uh, charge such things as the Nokia 9, N900, which I'm currently using to make this little video. Um, the Nokia uses, uh, well, charges via a USB input, and that I believe is 5 volts. Um, I expect if I was a proper hacker and geek, as I wish I was, I would be able to make my own device to um, to turn the output that comes out of here into the correct input for the N900 and any other device that requires charging. But, well. I don't think I'm going to do it. So, I got a Zing. I did some research. There are some other devices that do similar things, um, including one from Dahon, or Dahon, or whatever. How do you pronounce it? Uh, the people who are quite famous for making folding bicycles. And they've got a quite nice looking uh, item that, that straps around say the down tube or the, I don't know, head tube or something of, of a bicycle and uh, we'll do the same sort of uh, conversion between dynamo power and USB. Uh, however, as far as I can tell that is not yet available and I wanted to go ahead and get something so I went with the Zing which is made in Germany and here's the box, it's a lovely little box comes in. Uh, I suppose it must have been uh, it's come from the same people that make cigar boxes. So I'll just open it up and show you what's inside. Well, we've got a bag with various fittings and cables and things. And we have the Zing itself which is a bit bigger than I expected, actually, I must admit. My hands are not uh, unusually small. Uh, but there you go. If you want power on the move, you're going to have to have some batteries. And I should imagine that most of what's in here is batteries. Um, as you can see, this comes with a fitting which corresponds with the click fit fitting. Let's just chuck 
pull this stuff out. There it is, click fit. And so it's easy to take, put on the bike and take off. Uh, what other things we've got here? We've got a, a couple of spades, as I, that's what I know them to be, which um, I are somehow going to go together with or replace the connections which are currently there on the on the Schmidt Narben Dinamo. Um, there's a bit of shrink fit there, so you need a lighter for that. This is the cable to go between uh, the dynamo and that this here be the input to go into the zing there, I should think. It must be. Um, I have no idea yet what this is for, perhaps for eating noodles or picking up small items you've dropped. And there's another piece of stainless steel here, a couple of zip ties, an Allen key, what is it, about 3 mil or 4 mil or something, uh, a little bit of rubber, and that's it really. So that's the contents of the Zing. I bought the version which has uh, slightly higher power batteries, or higher capacity batteries. I thought it was probably worth it. Um, Actually, before I end this video, let's just see what it's like out of the box. There we are, the Zing. You've got the USB output there, standard USB, uh, a light, and that's the input. So I imagine. I don't know which way I'm going to fit it, or where exactly, but uh, I don't know. maybe here. So that's it for now, and uh, I might do another little video of how to stick it on to the bike.